Mann. Hier ja, links, 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 links. Hier ist links. Hier ist links. Hier ist links. Hier ist links. Genau. Und jetzt. Papi and I discovered the book, each of us on our own, because we liked the cover. I read it and I thought it was fantastic, because it's so particular and it's so sensitive in describing what it's like to be 14. If you don't come from Gropiusstadt, you can nonetheless really identify with it. And the book manages to show that it's not about just gangsters and swats, but it's much more nuanced than that. I didn't know Felix back then, actually, as a matter of fact. So I really only got to know him through the book. We then got in touch with Felix and talked with him, and we got the rights, and then eventually the film would was finished, and we th he thought it would be a bit faster, and now after four years, it's finally completed. It all took a while, but it was a wonderful journey that we set off on together. Well, yes, it's actually even five years later, as a matter of fact. There were 6,000 sales of the book. There was a lot of interest from the entire sector. And there were all kinds of offers for much more cash for the film rights, but after a meeting where we got to know each other, you actually opted for the lowest offer, ours, because you thought that it would make the most uncompromising film, and perhaps that really is the case, because otherwise perhaps it would have just ended up on the TV, not even at prime time. That's not what we wanted. We wanted exactly what we made. <laughs> well, yes, I'm still dreaming occasionally about all that cash. But anyway, it really was just how David and Fabian described it. I gave Seven Elephants the film rights because after our conversation, which wasn't terribly long, it was maybe an hour, an hour and a half and 45 minutes of that, I was actually eating. It was venison, as a matter of fact. I remember it well. And I immediately had the feeling that they had really grasped what the book is actually about. I felt that they were aware of what is most important in turning it into a film, so there was no question for me whatsoever. It was much better to give it to them rather than to a larger production company. After all, I didn't intend to earn heaps of cash with it. I really wanted the film to become as good as it has indeed become, and I have to say it's even better than I thought it might be back then when we reached our agreement. Well, the casting really was very important. And we tried to find young people from across Germany. We had an online call via Felix, and thousands of people applied. They sent in their own videos as well. We went to all of the schools in Berlin and talked to people on the spot. And we met kids in shopping malls and on playgrounds and such like. We caught them there. And we wanted really to cast it as well as possible. And all of the young people really had to be the right ones in the casting. We tried to really find out that they could do what they'd have to do during the shooting. And I have to say I'm absolutely delighted and proud that we found the right guys and that they play such an enormous role in carrying this film. I thought it would be really cool. I thought the book would be fantastic. I hardly ever read. I didn't actually read the actual book, but I listened to it on Spotify instead, and I thought it was absolutely great. I don't live terribly far away from Gropiusstadt. It seemed really authentic to me, so I was absolutely tickled pink. And I have to say that I didn't really grasp that I'd really be in the film. It was only when I was on the set that it really hit me. That was my impression. Pretty much the same for me as well. I read the screenplay. And I tried to understand the different roles and grasp what was happening inside this young bloke, why he acted like that, why is he the way that he is, what's the driving force inside of him. When I was in Gropiusstadt, though, that was when I really realized what it meant to live there. The really decisive moment for me was the one in the living room, because it was such a filthy mess. It was so dirty and disgusting. And that's when the penny dropped, and I thought, oh, okay, that's how life can be there. That's what it's like, and that's how the characters act towards each other, and that's why the film is the way that it is. When we started shooting, for us and for David, first and foremost, but also for me, it was very 
important that we do everything together. Sometimes you do the cinematography and you're somehow alongside everything. But in this case, we were really involved with all of the actors. We really were entwined, entangled in the whole process. I don't really know how to put this into word, but we were really together. Perhaps I can say a few words because I've been involved in a number of films already, but I've very rarely seen somebody give their all quite so much as our DP in there. She is without artificial light with the camera on her shoulder, with her platform shoes on, she always goes right into the scenes and she went through all of those shooting days of principal photography, 59 entire days. I really hope that we can work again. She was great. She was tough. I've seen the film. The images are stunning, often without artificial light, without anything. And if I don't get to work with you again, I want to be your agent. I have to say, great cinematography. I found it fascinating to see that this is a so-called problem neighborhood. And if people talk about that, you only really know it about from the perspective of some rappers. It sounds cool, but rappers tend to tell you about how tough they are and who they've beaten up, and that's that. And I found it fascinating to talk about the life of people who just live there and aren't such tough guys, just kids who don't really have any proper prospects for the future and who have a hard time, who don't have much cash, who come from difficult family backgrounds, who got trouble at school, and who have this day-to-day -day struggle. And I thought that was much more interesting than yet another story about selling cocaine by the kilo, because there's much more, the, more points of contact, actually, for people who are not from those neighborhoods. If you live in some small city in Baden-Württemberg, in the provinces, then perhaps you can nonetheless identify with particular individual aspects of people in the film, much more than would be the case if you had this kind of real Pablo Escobar gangster film that's a way bit over the top, then it's quite clear. It's not anything to do with you directly, but I think because the actors are all so authentic and they perform so well, and I think that everyone can find something to identify with, irrespective of whether you grew up in a semi-detached house or on the 13th floor of an apartment block, but the kind of problems and family difficulties that kids have is something that all kids at that age have. Thank you.